Okay, hi everyone. So this is going to be the start of my November haul. So I actually just want to go through these things really quickly. I know they're both trades, don't know exactly what they are, but I've actually cut them open already. I haven't really looked inside them yet though. Um, so I'll go through them, but yeah. So I'll go through this one first. This one, it's a cute little card. Um, okay, yeah, and this one was for a G Hill card. Um, and there's some little stickers that they gave me. These are super cute. And this is Halloween themed, how cute. Um, oh, and I just realized this is one of those characters. Isn't it for twice? I think it is. That's so cute. Okay, so there's this little sticky note and yeah, so this is the card I got. Super cute. Yes. Okay, so there is the first one. Here is the second one. Uh, so here's another card. So, um, yeah, so this is the person I traded with on Instagram, and I traded for Jungyun's light color border card from Feel Special. So, yes, here is that. It's super cute. I like this uh, version of cards quite a bit. I think they're super cute. So, okay, so yeah, that was um, the first clip. Uh, very short, but yeah, anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, I'm back. I have another clip here. Um, both of these are trades, um, so I'll just go through them really quick. Um, I'll do this one first. Um, this this trade, um, this is nothing against the person that I traded with because it obviously isn't their fault, but I ended up having to pay an extra $3 to get this, like, for postage due, which doesn't make sense. Like, it had a stamp on it, and that's usually just enough, but I guess not for this. It didn't really make sense to me, and I don't know, I should have asked when I paid for it um, why it was like that, but I didn't even think about it, so I'm annoyed that like I didn't even ask. But um, this is the person I traded with, yeah, they were great to trade with, it was just for some reason. I don't, I don't even know why I had to pay so much for postage. So yeah, you saw the card that I got was this Jihyo one from Yes or Yes. Um, so yeah, I decided I'm going to go back and collect more of her cards from this album. No reason other than because I want to collect more of her cards now. But I traded my, um, last Itzy card that I had, so it was my Leah card for that one. And then this is just the last thing. And the only, re like, I don't really understand why I had to pay so much for postage for the other, other one when this is considerably more stiff than the other one. And this only has one stamp on it too, so it's like really, really confusing. But I guess, I don't know, I guess I'll never know why that happened, but let me see if I can get this out. Okay, so yeah. And then here's the per okay, yeah. Here's the person I traded with. So yeah, I traded this, and I believe I traded um, a Ren card from Happily Ever After, I think. So yeah, this was the last card I needed to finish out... Um, my Who You collection, so yeah, that's really cute. Yes, I'm super excited about that. So yeah, that was everything I got in this clip. Hopefully I'll have more things in the next clip. I know I have albums coming this month and I have, I think, other stuff coming. I don't know, but yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so this clip is going to be really quick, but um, what I have here is something really exciting. Um, I already opened it already, but um, if you watched my haul from last month, you would know that um, I got my X1 M Wave albums in the mail. I ended up getting double Juno for the signatures, which it was a little disappointing, not because I don't like Juno, um, but just because I spent a lot of money on them and not getting two different signatures was just a little bit frustrating. But luckily, um, I posted them on my Instagram, just a normal photo, and someone actually contacted me um, saying that they would trade with me. So if you know who my bias is, you might know where this is going. But I ended up getting Hangil's signature. So yes, I'm really thankful to the person who contacted me because I was looking online any place I could really think of um, to see if there was someone I could trade with possibly. 
um, but I wasn't really coming up with any results, so I was a little bit worried, and I was also kind of willing to also just buy a different album, but the prices were a little bit too high for me, so yes, the person that traded with me, I am forever thankful for. Um, it really means a lot to me to have Hangul's signature because I love him a lot. Yeah, anyways, I'm so happy to have this. It really means a lot to me to um, have this album signed by Hangul. Hangul is the absolute love of my life, and I'm gonna go off into kind of a tangent here, but um, I've been following him for like two years now, and it just means a lot to me to finally be able to see him as an active idol and see him living out his dream and him doing well. I don't know. I'm just so happy, and I love Hangul, so... That was it for this short clip. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, hi, new clip. We're filming at night, so um, sorry for the lighting, but it's just how it has to be. I have three things here. These are all photo cards. Um, I'm, I've opened everything up, um, again, just to make things go quicker, but I will go through each of these. So starting here, I know what this is. Um, so this is... Okay, yeah, so I have Wusuk's uh, AR card from Quantum Leap, Quantum Leap version, so that's really exciting. Um, I decided I'm going to collect Wusuk and Hangyul, but um, Hangyul is like 100% priority, and also, um, like, I'm not letting myself spend a lot of money on his cards, so there's that one. And then I have this, which was a trade, actually, this was a trade with someone from Japan, so I traded... I traded my Johan card from uh, the B-Song version of their album for uh, Wusuk, which um, I was really excited to be able to find a trade, um, but um, I thought it was really interesting that I ended up finding a trade with someone from Japan, so that was really interesting. Here's probably a little note. Oh, they gave me- oh, that's so cute. They gave me some stickers. There's this one. Which is really cute. Uh, this one, which is really cute. Um, I don't know if I dropped any more, but they're really cute. Um, but yeah, their handwriting is really nice. But this was a Twitter trade, so um, yeah. This person though is like genuinely so good at packaging stuff. Let's see. So yeah, here's the Bisong version. Uh, Wusuk's card. Super nice. I'm super excited to have um, both of those cards now because I don't have to worry about how expensive collecting him is going to be. Here's some also some freebies they included, which is super nice. Hangul, that's so cute. I love Hangul and Wusuk. Okay, moving on. This has an address on the back, so I'm just going to take this out. This was an eBay purchase, um, and I'm really excited because I know what this is, but I'm so excited about it. Uh, let's see if I can get it out just like that. Okay, yeah, so you can tell it's more attention cards, so I'll go through them. I have Sunyul here. Okay, there we go. So this is his moment version, and... Bito, this is his moment version. Super cute. And I have Kuhn's moment version. And then we have Zhao's moment version, which this is probably one of my favorite Zhao cards to date. I love it so much. And I have Gyujin's uh, illusion version. And Gyujin's moment version. And this is Jinhu's moment version. So, with that, I'm super close to finishing out my Uptension collection, which I'm so excited about. I have another package coming later. Hopefully, I'll get it this month, but um, that will be completing my Moment of Illusion collection for Uptension. So, I'm really excited about that. So, yeah, that was everything. Um, I only just realized that this is an entirely obtention related haul. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this. These were an eBay purchase. Um, I, They were all through bids. I think I'm going to start listing where I got everything in the description. So if you want to know where I got them from the seller, you can just look there. Okay, yeah, so that was everything. We can move on to the next clip now. 
Okay, hi, so new clip. Um, there's only one thing here. I've actually had this for a couple days, but I haven't really been getting anything in the mail lately. I noticed that everything I have coming is mostly coming from Korea, so uh, that's why things are taking a while, which is only a little bit annoying. Um, I know what this is. I'm super excited about it, so I'm just going to open it. I already have it cut, of course. Uh, this was a, well, I think, um, yeah, so this was a trade, and I also bought something from them so um, this was the person I traded with on Instagram and let's see okay so um, you can obviously see it but I got two cards from Taehyun's birthday um, so uh, yeah there's this one which this one is number 18 and this one which is number 13 so I'm really excited to have these. These are the first birthday cards I've had in a while. So I'm really excited about them. Um, I was kind of going back and forth about whether or not I really wanted to collect birthday, but I've been thinking about it lately and I really do want to collect like all the cards eventually. My main thing has always been like I'm not going to worry about it too much, but like I really do want all the cards, so I'm going to try to get them all eventually. Uh, so here's some freebies. There's some joy ones. These are super cute this one super pretty and some stickers which these are really cute nice I've been getting like not a lot but like some stickers lately and it's making me really happy because I love stickers um but yeah that was everything I had for this clip hopefully I get some more things soon and I'm hoping this package of albums I have coming comes sooner rather than later so that I can include it this month but I feel like I've gotten a lot of things recently so Hopefully those things can show up so I can show you. So yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Alright, I'm back. I have one more thing. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Um, could be an eBay purchase because I bought something from eBay recently. So I'll open it. Uh, okay, so this was what I thought it was. So yeah, this was an eBay purchase. Um, and I did get Jano's Wee Young card. So this completes my Jano collection, my album card collection for Jano. Um, I found this for a price that was less than $10, so I went ahead and bought it. So um, I'm really happy to have this now because this card was eluding me for so long, and I'm so excited to have it now. I literally thought I'd never get it. But yeah, that's it. Um, I think my next package will probably be um, my album package, so you can look out for that. So I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, hi. So I'm back with a really big package. So I got this package from Music Plaza, and I think I've actually mentioned this before in a few of my other clips, saying that I had an album package coming, and this would be it. So um, I already opened it and everything, took my invoice out and all that jazz. Um, so this is what I've got here. So this is a freebie. Um, first and foremost, the albums I have... We in the Zone's new release, so this is their second mini album. I'm so excited to see what I pull for this. I'm just so excited to see it. Um, there's some Super M stickers, which... Oh, there's some Monster X stickers too. Interesting. And 17. Interesting. I didn't buy anything from any of those groups, so um, that's fun. Um, and I have uh, all three copies of... New, new album and then we have the reason why this box is so big got the box out of the way so yeah um i got nct 127's uh like live cd thing so yeah this is everything i will be going through in this clip so um i think i'm gonna do an unboxing for we in the zone's new album but i think i'll do polls in this video anyways i don't really care enough to like wait if that makes any sense but with that said i think i'm gonna go through new east first and then we in the zone and then i think i will go through this a bit okay so i do have all three versions here i don't know what version is what oh, okay it says it so i've got version one two and three okay so i'll go through them in order so version one i'm really hoping i get some jr pulls i have a feeling i think i have some really bad luck but um, it's fine. I usually have bad luck with New East anyways, um, so it's nothing I'll be surprised about. Um, 
The only thing I don't like about this album is this right here. It makes me so nervous. I didn't realize that the album was going to be like that. And it's annoying because this is the first album where they've kind of changed up the size of their packaging. So, okay, everything is right here. Okay, I'll go through the photo book a little bit. I haven't seen anything from this, so... Um, I guess the one thing nice about the photo book is that you can, like, really flip through it and look at the photos, but also, like, I don't know, still makes me nervous. Okay, so this is the poster. I know I'm not going to unfold that. Um, so this wouldn't be me getting a New East album without getting Beko. Oof. Beko, I love you, but I pull him everywhere, literally everywhere. Okay, so, oh, okay, so I pulled Biko and Minhyun for the unit card. That's super nice. Um, and this is like the normal card. Oh, oh my god, I pulled JR. Okay, that's super exciting. And this is the AR card. I guess, here's a better look at that. It's so cute. I got like really excited about it and just like forgot about it, but... That's so cute. Okay. AR card is... Oh, Beko. Beko. Okay. So yeah, that was pulls for the first album. So here is version two. Um, let's see if I can open it. Okay, so, oh, mine has a little bit of damage on the back, that's unfortunate. Um, are the first couple pages of this member specific? Because if they are, then I got JR. I think I might scream. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, so if that's the case, I did get JR. So everything's right here. Go through the photo book a tiny bit. Ooh, these are some nice black and white photos. I don't like the sounds it's making. These photos are cute, though, for sure. Okay. Here's the poster again. And here's this. Let's see. Oh, I pulled Ren. Nice. I feel like I don't pull Ren very often. I feel like the person I pull the most is Beko. Okay, photo cards. I did put the AR one last. I got Aaron. I feel like I pull Aaron a lot. Not a lot, but like often. And ooh, they are in Beko. Beko still wants to show up, but I'm glad I pulled that one. Okay, an AR card. Hopefully it is different than Beko. Oh, I pulled Aaron. That's cute. Okay, and here's version three. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do CD plates again, but also happy they didn't. All right. Oh, how cute. That's a really nice photo to open it up to. Um, but yeah, here's some photos. Super nice. Yes, I really like this concept up here. But anyways, so for this, I pulled... Wow, Beko again. Are we surprised? No, he shows up way too often. I just can't believe it. Every time. Okay, and then here are the cards. Let's see. Beko. Okay. Oh. Ren? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So I was expecting a unit. Um, and this is the AR card. Please, someone different. Minhyun, JR, even Ren. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, I've got Ren. That's really nice. Okay. Okay, so yeah, here are all my newest pulls. Um, so... Out of the things I'm for sure keeping, I'm keeping this JR card, of course. Uh, this unit with Minhyun and this one with JR. I'd say everything else is up to trade for anything with JR in it. I'd preferably like to focus on his, you know, like, normal selfie kind of cards and not the unit cards um, for now. But, yeah, I'll consider trading to Minhyun too. I had some JR look this time around too, which is not normal. So, um, I didn't pull him at all photo card wise in... Happily Ever After. I think I pulled him in action and then I haven't pulled him since. So it's been a long time since I've pulled him. So, okay, so I do quick want to talk about this album. 
Uh, the track list is not on the back. Also, these are the first albums I'm getting with the new Comca stickers, so that's interesting. Okay, so the track list literally is not anywhere in this album, so I'll talk about it briefly. I really like Love Me. I think it's so wonderful. Um, I kind of prefer Bet Bet overall, but I think Love Me is still really fun and cute. I really like the concept for it. And I'd say my favorite B-side on the album is Call Me Back. Um, that song is so fun. So good. Um, I think the rest of the B-sides are pretty good, um, although this album isn't as good as um, Happily Ever After to me. I think Happily Ever After is such a good album, like overall, that I feel like it was a little bit hard to follow up. But I still think this album is good, just not quite as good as Happily Ever After. Um, but with that said, um, I'll move on now. Okay, next we have We In The Zone, so I'm really excited about this. Um, I've been waiting to get a copy of this. I have um, another one coming and I'm probably gonna buy more uh, in the future. Um, because I want to collect the photo cards from this album. In a perfect world, I'd only have to buy four copies, and I'd pull all eight of the cards and be fine, but um, that's not going to be the case, unfortunately. But I do plan to buy at least two more. Um, but with that said... Okay, so it's right at the beginning again. So um, this right here is just like a little fold-out thing. Um, but yeah, this is a little fold-out thing. Here's the back of their heads. Eason looks so cute as a blonde, and I've been falling in love with him lately. But I will, I will always love she again. But, um, yeah. They're right there. Okay, I'm not ready. There's something else, too. Right there. Okay. I'm super nervous. I don't know why, because I'm gonna... I'll do this first. Okay, let's see. It's a tiny little ID, so... Oh, I got Eason. Oh my god. I didn't pull him at all in the first album, so... I also didn't pull Juan in the first album, so... Um, yeah, I'm kind of nervous for these cards now. Um, oh, it says in the back, I pulled Juan. That's so cute. Um, in the preview for the album, like the album details, you can like kind of see the cards, and they look so cute, so I'm really excited to hopefully be able to collect a full set of them. So, yes, there's that one. And I pulled Eason again. Oh, he's so cute. I love his blonde hair so much. I love him. So, yeah, so here are my pulls. Um, I was really lucky, I think, to pull Eason and Juan. I didn't pull either of them in the first album, so um, that's really fun. I do currently have another copy of this on the way. Um, I think maybe I'll wait until I get that one to actually do an unboxing of this album. Um, you can at least expect one soon, at least sometime in the future. Um, but, um, yeah, I'll talk about that album more in the unboxing, just so I don't wait, take up too much time. So lastly, we have this thing to go through. So I'm going to quick take it out of the bag so I can get this reflection thing off camera. Um, and then we'll look at it. Okay, so here's the photo book. Here's the lyrics book. Um, not anything special. Um, but um, I think I'm going to find my photo card in this first, just so I can get that out of the way. My fingers are sticky now because of the bag, but... Um, I'm gonna try to find it. Okay, I found it. I don't know who it is. I have a guess. Let's see. Oh, I pulled tail. That's who I thought it was when I first saw it. Um, so if anyone wants to trade this, I'll trade for, um, priority is tail, but I can trade for Yuta too. Um, I don't really mind. But yeah, this card is super cute. I wasn't expecting to pull a bias in this either so let's see I'm just gonna quickly flip through um, but I'm really glad I bought this mostly because um, I did go to this tour so um, I was kind of hoping they'd put out a DVD but um, they did that in Japan which oh that picture is so wonderful um, they put out a DVD in Japan which is really expensive and I was looking into buying it but it's not really oh, I love these photos um, it's not really, uh, what am I trying to say? It's not really, like, it's way too expensive, I guess. But, you know, it's okay. I have this, which is fine. I'm really glad they, um, put something out, though, because, um, it's nice to have things to remember the concerts you went to. 
And like a really nice and big photo book is... Wait, what is going on here? Okay. But yeah, like a really nice big photo book is really a really nice way to be able to remember it. But I've been stopping on all the pictures of Yuta and it's making my heart swell. I love him so much. I feel like I haven't seen any pictures of Tail. He's right there. Jaehyun, he's so pretty. Oh, there we go. These are such wonderful pictures. My favorite stage out of the entirety of the entire concert was um, Baby Don't Like It. I love that. That's my favorite NCT song um, out of all the units, out of everything. Baby Don't Like It is my favorite song, one of my favorite K-pop songs of like all time. And I don't know what that says about me, but um, I just, I feel so entirely grateful that I got a chance to see it live. And I went to the Chicago show, so I think that show was really um, special too. Can we talk about how cute he looked in this outfit? I can't. Okay. But I think it was really special being able to see NCT in Chicago, especially because it was Johnny's hometown show, and you can tell it was super special to him. And I don't know, it was something really... Something I can cherish, I guess. It's super nice to have this memory of it. Even though it's not the show I went to, it's still, um, you know, like the same outfits and things like that. So, yeah. That's that, I guess. Um, I'm excited to hopefully take a better look at the photos in here later. But with that said, I think that's everything for this clip. Um, I don't know if I'll have anything else coming before the end of the month, but... Um, if I do, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so this will be the last clip of this haul. Um, I have five different, like, packages and envelopes here to go through. So I'm really excited. I know what all of these things are. So I'll go through the envelopes first and then go from there. So I have this one first that I'll go through. I just want to show you this because I think it's funny, but I did buy an Eyes One card and the seller sent me a picture of this envelope before sending it. And, um... They wrote from Lee Chan, so um, you can kind of guess what this is, I guess. Okay, so as you can see, I got this um, Chan card from... Iceland's Blue Eyes album. This was the last one I needed to finish out this set, so I figured I'd do it. I I was guessing that I'd never find a trade for the last card I had, so I figured I'd just buy this. Um, it wasn't too bad of a price either, so yeah, I'm happy to have this one now. So this is the next one. I do know what this is. Super excited to have these now. Okay, so... I have three cards here. So the first one I have is um, Yuta's card from We Are Superhuman. I don't know what took me so long in getting this, but I do finally have this, so I'm excited about that. And then I have this uh, Youngmin card from MXM's uh, matchup album so I just need one more to finish out this set so that's kind of high priority and then I just have the uh, last card I need to complete of Tension's uh, Moment of Illusion set so that's fun. I'm really excited about that as well and so the last thing I have here is actually a trade um, so I traded for Usuk's B-Song version bookmark so yeah this was an Instagram trade that's the person I traded with on Instagram Okay, so that was really difficult to get out of the packaging, but here's a better look at that. Uh, super excited to have this one now. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I might try and get his other version soon so I can have that complete. Okay, yeah, so that was everything I had for cards. So I think I'll go through this next. Um, I do know what this is, so I'm really excited about it. Alright, so this is actually what I ended up getting. So this is Obtention's first B wishlist um, DVD. So this was like a reality type thing. 
um, that attention did. Um, but it was um, something they did with VLive, and I mean, um, this came out maybe two years ago, so it's been a long time, and I just never really ended up getting it, um, mostly because, I mean, it is on VLive, so I have seen it before. Um, but yeah, I got this for um, a lot cheaper than list price because it was um, put up for bid on eBay, so I was able to get that. Um, so this is just what the box looks like. Um, as you can see, um, so there's three different discs. It's about maybe like four hours of content or something like that. Um, there are English subtitles, so that's nice. Um, but this does come with postcards, like a whole set of postcards and stuff. Um, there's a photo book and then the postcards. So um, I'll go through these things really quick because I have never seen this stuff myself. So this will be nice to see. Uh, so here was Wusok's, uh, Jinhyuk, Jinhu, Kogyo, Kun, Dito, Sanyo, Yujin, Hwani, and Zhao, my cute baby Zhao. Okay. So yeah, this is like the one thing in my attention collection that I just never had. And I'm really glad I finally have it. But I do remember really enjoying watching this back when uh, this was first a thing. I know these clips in particular, when they're at this place, are really funny, so um, I'm actually probably going to watch this again because it's been a while and I miss them, so yeah. So there's that. Um, not much to it, but I'm excited about it, especially because I got this for like such a good price, so that's fun. Okay, so this last box I have here, um, it actually came from, you can kind of see it there, but yeah, this came from Kmall24, so... Um, so I learned through Instagram that they were doing um, free shipping on orders over a certain amount, and I know it was really cheap. Um, it might have been like $28 or something like that. And I had never used this website before, so I thought it would be a good idea to try it out. Just because, especially when you make a new account there, you get $5 off. You get a $5 off coupon for your first purchase. So um, that was really appealing to me. Um, so when I initially ordered this, I um, ordered three albums, one being... Uh, we in the Zone's new album, and then the other two being the Korean version of Super M's album, Korean version of the album, so I got refunded for those, which was only a little bit frustrating. I decided I don't really even want to get the Korean version of the Super M album, so essentially I'm okay with them getting cancelled, but um, it's just annoying. But I did end up getting this album for really cheap, so like basically just list price. Like I said, there's the one album in here. I'm gonna get this off the bubble wrap off camera because uh, my full name is taped to the front of this, so yeah. So yeah, like I said, I got We In The Zone's new album. Um, it also came with a poster. I won't show it right now, but I do plan to do an unboxing of that so I can show it in that video, of course. I don't know when that'll be up, but I mean, it'll be soon. Um, but I'm gonna go through my polls for this album in this video too, because like I said, I don't really care enough to wait. So yeah, let's go. So as you saw in my last clip, I pulled Eason and Juan for cards, and I pulled Eason's ID, so I'm hoping I pull different members. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, um, let's see. I think I pulled, this is the same Juan I pulled in the last album, so that's a little bit disappointing. Um, but I did pull this Shihyun card, which is so cute. He's so cute. I love him so much. Okay, I'm super excited about that, but let's see who I pulled for the ID, if I can find it. Alright, here it is. I'm interested to see who it is. Oh, it's Kyungan. How cute. These IDs are super cute. So there's that. Um, okay, yeah, so that was everything for this last clip of my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I had a pretty good month this month, and um, also, um, after this, you can expect a video um, where I put away all the cards I got in this video. Um... And I do a little bit of organizing to my binder, so that'll be up soon. Um, I don't know when, but it'll be up soon. Um, you can also keep an eye out for my Secret Santa video that is coming soon. That'll be out on the 5th of December, so that one's coming up soon as well. Um, but yeah, so that was everything. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.